Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and we got another tool tourism video here. This is the Texas State Surplus Store. Do you ever wonder where, well, not only the state surplus, but all the TSA stuff goes? This is from Texas and surrounding states. So it's a rather unusual place. Check out this. There are piles and piles of stuff here. Um, most of it's all one price. There is some good stuff. What I'm going to do is just take you through a handful of the different bins, the offerings, and you can pause the video as much as you want to see what's in here. Um, but it's fairly well organized. A lot of name brands. I mean, obviously here we've got Swiss Army knives. We've got tons and tons of multi-tools, big ones, small ones, name brand ones. We've got bags of knives, 15 bucks. Um, the Gerber selection was huge. And then the Leatherman selection, I did dig through that fairly seriously. I didn't see anything beyond kind of the wingman level, but tons of the old ones. Um, for if you're a collector, you know, there you go. You can see I've, I set some out. I thought about getting them. You can warranty them, but I've got to fly back, so it'll probably get taken again. Lots of kitchen knives, utility knives tons of screwdrivers. Now, I asked about this stuff, and yes, a lot of it is TSA. People tried to fly with their tools or, you know, in some cases, state surplus, tons of wrenches, um, scrapers. In fact, in the wrenches, um, they've got them divided up. They've got the, you know, crescent wrench style, regular wrenches, and these are all called ratchets or ratcheting is just how they lumped all these things together. Tons of small knives, obviously, they're just a buck a piece. I mean, here's how about those knife cards you thought you could sneak on an airplane with? Oh, no, here they are. Tons of box cutters, good brands, bad brands, um, plenty of blades. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. The number of little slidey utility knives, 10 cents a piece. You know, they can't even give these things away, probably. It's kind of wild. There's small, generic multi-tools. Here's a whole bin of nothing but little Schrade and old timer knives. You know, the little three-blade ones. Here's some of the good stuff. It's behind glass. You can look close. These are the brand name knives that people would be asking for. Kershaw here, SOG, CRKT. Yeah, that's a Benchmade. And Spyderco, they've got bins of these things. And then they've pulled out a few on the top shelf. I'll show you closer that they've high-graded. And then the big, long... Um, sheath knives on the end. So these are all uh, quality knives. I did notice Civivi, lots of Spyderco. The cabinet was pretty scratched up. I'll zoom in here so you can see the price, 40 bucks, 50 bucks for these uh, classic Spydercos. Here's some Benchmades, um, some unusual ones. Now I noticed a few of these had, had glass breakers or the triage version of the Benchmade, which means they might have been medical personnel that were trying to carry them on. Like this this top one here is kind of pricey. Yeah, that's a bug out. I think it's a bug out mini. They had two of those things there. Prices aren't negotiable. It's not a pawn shop, but it sure is cool. I thought about buying this. This is an Infidel Benchmade. I don't know for sure if it's real, but the price was pretty high. Tactical pens. These are the good ones. You can buy... You know, um, cheap tactical pens, good ones, good tactical pens, tons of small Spyderco stuff, tons of miscellaneous quality knives. There's the buck. Here's a, a little two, a little container of Benchmades, 45 bucks a piece, whatever you want in there. So most of them were the Griptilian, both um, Griptilian Mini and the, the full size. Here's iPad, iPod or AirPod cases or AirPods, depending. You got to dig around. Tons of random stuff. I can see somebody maybe buying it, took it home, drill bits, lots of stuff. Some of this might be regular state surplus. These aren't. Corkscrews, tons and tons of scissors um, of all shapes and sizes. I did ask about the power tools and the drills, and they said a lot of the cordless drills they did get from the TSA, like these Milwaukee's here. Just crazy. They said, yeah, people were carrying them on. They didn't want to leave them in their check luggage. They didn't have any batteries for sale. I'm not sure what's up with that, but tons and tons of, of good ones. This did have a battery in it. This is one of those gyroscopic DeWalt tools. Um, lots of pliers, even more. These are straight razors, actually. Uh, straight razors, yeah, tons of them can't fly. Here's a giant right socket. Um, not a lot of sockets. 
Um, this is the little Weeha bit changer. I did buy this. I'll see if I can fly home with it or if it joins the system again. Um, I've got one, not the greatest. Lots of Allen keys. Yeah, those are, there's a saw there. Uh, it's crazy. This is some unusual stuff. Lots and lots of cutting pliers right next to the airsoft magazines, next to the real firearm magazines. There was one real Glock magazine for 10 millimeter right there. And then I don't know why they're, they've got these displayed, but they had um, cartridge cases. They had tons of Klein, lots and lots of Klein, kind of a neat cross-section to see what's available. Here's one crampon for ice climbing from Black Diamond. Yeah, don't put that in your your carry-on. Lots of hammers, lots of specialty, this was interesting, specialty electronics tools uh, for cable work. And I could easily see, um, you know, IT people accidentally getting it. They had a warehouse connected to the area with all those bins I showed you, just packed with office stuff. Now, this is all regular surplus, but they also had TSA stuff out there that wasn't tools like the belts and tons of hats. Um, you know, that's, I, I don't know why, these are more lost and found. Again, more scissors, lots and lots of scissors all over the place. There weren't very many sockets, that's about it, because people either don't surplus them or they don't fly with them. Here's some more of the IT tools, they had tons of them. So I could easily see somebody flying with their, you know, briefcase and they've got some, uh, you know, cable tools in there. Um, pretty amazing, you know, just all of the stuff that, that people would fly with. Wouldn't be complete without the mini Victoria Knox little pocket knives. They had plenty of those. Um, so there you go. Anyway, there it is, the Texas State Surplus uh, Store. So if you're ever in Austin, Texas, I'll put the address below. This is it should be a tourist destination, but it does get high graded. People do come in to buy the good stuff often. With that, Doc out.